It's probably gonna be a YouTube video, so if you wanna say hi YouTube, now's the good time to do it, okay? Now, I haven't heard much about this trailer other than you get some information on, like, echoes and all that kind of stuff, so... This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. And yeah, by the way, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, as you can see, chat's a good lot of people. If you wanna come talk and you wanna come say hi to them or myself, the link is in the description. It's kinda cool, I reckon you should join. Uh, yeah, let's get through the video, okay? Let's, let's stop with the self-promotion, alright? Alright. Let's see if we're cooking or no. Dude, I love Luka Jinji. I'm, I'm gonna just say it. Responding. She's so pretty, man. Alright, new mountain? Uh huh. This is the uh, dragon spine? <laughs> Wait, Boston? Huh? <laughs> Dude. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one sec. I, I hate to pause so quick, but... I do the idea... Like, the red with snow color scheme with these kind of buildings. Oh. Oh, sign me up, man. It is clean. Dead. Holy! This Weichi board and the Sonoro sphere. Oh! Oh! Al goat! Al goat! Cam's frozen as shit. Cam is yeah fucked. We press on. <laughs> we go again. They are both a oh, Changli. An Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Clear the blaze. Oh, okay, we get gameplay. Wait, what the fuck? Beckon the divine flames. Woof, woof, bark, bark. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pounce. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh huh. Oh, boys. Boys, keep it a buck. We pull them for her or we pull them for her? Look, I know there's a lot of Jinshi and Joyas in here, but we know we know our girl when we see her, right? We. We. No, our girl when we see her. You're passing for Jinshi. Mods show him photos of his parents when they're old. Easy skip. You guys are crazy. No, no, no. I'm not alone here, all right? It might be alone. Anyway. All right, we'll continue. But we both have something we'll fiercely defend. Shine all right, Jinshi gameplay, please sell us. Hell no, nah, just Thanks get both. Very true. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of actually, <laughs> they kind of disrespected Jinshi with like, I, I, they gave us so much more for Chung Li, and they just speed ran Jinshi there. Really fucking cool though, she looked, wait she has horns? Okay, that's kind of awesome. Alright. Our drag is better than Booba, fair. But yeah, dude, Jinshi also looks very, Why very did good. they show Chang Li first? Is she the first banner? Uh, no. I'm pretty confident Jinshi is the 2.0, uh, the 1.1 release banner. Uh, I think it was just a decision they made. If they did swap the banners around, that's crazy. Because I thought it was confirmed we had Jinshi first. If Chung Li, if Chung, hold on, hold on. Is Chung Li first? Can someone verify or deny this? Because I'm, I'm scared now. Jinshi is very much first? Okay, cool. So it's just a, it's just a direct in design. Okay. Makes more sense. You getting weapon too? I'll try to get a weapon, but I uh, I don't know how much luck I'll have. Maybe we need to load up. Potentially. Oh my god, oh, man. This is cooking. More story as well, ladies and gentlemen. More story as well. Things we love to see. Alright. So this is the Clang Bang event. 
this is just overworld puzzle stuff like we saw it in 1.0 it's nothing special it's a cool difference and different change on it but like it's nothing crazy right okay more shooting puzzles wait how many what the hold on one two three four five six seven eight there's eight new fucking puzzles in this have launch pads hold on we'll read what it does in a second wait you just sent him out there wait okay so what is his ability summon you to attack the enemies dealing spectro damage you can perform resonance skill to deal the same spectro damage to the enemies over time wait he's kind of fucked You don't just want to get free damage? Yeah, exactly. That's a huge bonus, but like, you can use skill on top to magnify your damage too, is terrifying. Three cost. Okay. New three cost. Luma scale construct. Transform into Luma. Oh, yeah, we don't care about the echo skill. We don't, it doesn't really matter because, like, no one's running three stars as the main, right? This is not a thing. Wait, <laughs> what? Did you a sword? Huh? Okay, this is yeah, like a cool. Okay. Wait, you can use it to get around faster. That's actually a huge W. And this is just a Dread Mains, this Havoc version. Really cool. Really, really cool. No matter this. And this is just a new Mushroom, or Mush Blooms, I think they're called. Bloom Shrooms. Clang Bang! The GOAT! Utterly useless, but really funny. You gonna tell us what they do? Oh wait, no, you can't disrespect me like that. Okay, well we 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 we've seen these before, but we, we like we know them officially now, right? Blazing Brilliance is a longsword for Chungli, and Broadblade of Age of Harvests is for Jinshi, right? We don't know what they do yet, I don't believe. Unless Lee Cruise? But I, I don't actually know if it's official yet, so we'll stay out of that business. New event, Mount Fermi area event. It's just, yeah, complete the area, go around. World exploration, that is all this event is. Okay? Another one, area events, yep. Now, okay, new... Oh, man. This is going to be fun. A new reset on this will be very entertaining, especially because I feel like Leon drastically change it this time around. So... Yeah. I, this, this is this is a cool little update for, like, the simulated universe equivalent of this game. Elusive Realm, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, but it feels like it's going to be very fire-heavy. Probably with the new bosses from the new area, as opposed to versing Dreamless infinitely, so. Kind of a W. Wait, new tactical hologram? New tack hologram? Gamba? Boys, boys, some people are going to be mad at this. There's, uh, here's a new crown hologram, uh, that's a fighting event. Oh, okay, cool, that's really, really cool, fuck yeah. People are actually going to be mad at this, having so many perma banner pools in it. But just wait, okay? Before you, uh, before you judge, just, just let it cook for another four seconds, alright? Because we got two, four, six, seven, ten. We've got ten pools, five on perma banner, five on the... Limited banner, but just wait, there's more. Holy shit! Okay, okay, let's let's talk about this real quick. Uh yeah, another 30 pulls. Just, uh, not even not even from story, not even from gameplay. 30 pulls for logging in again. 
40 pulls for free this patch, 20 on the standard, 15 on the limited, and 10 on the weapon. That's... That's impressive, right? That is insane, man. Okay. So yeah, without even playing the game, you got 40 pulls, which is hilarious. And God, this game, they want you to be free to play at this point. Like, I don't know how they make, like, they're definitely making money, but like, God damn, they're so generous. And I love that they're so open about doing this so often. And that's the trailer. But there is more. Uh, there is an element of Echo's event. And there is also a new hologram, which is the Dreamless. With, oh, the Dreamless? I believe it's Crownless, actually. We'll check in a second. But the... Echoes. It's just information, right? It's nothing really special. This is kind of tells you what they drop. So the one cost for the Clang Bang is a Celestial Light and a Freezing Frost. You've got Attack Percent and Fusion Damage Percent on the one cost Lava. With the Dread Main, which you can't see because of my screen, which I, if I move you can see it really quick. There you go. Uh, is Clouds and Frost, Celestial Light on the Light. Oh, it's only Light for Celestial? Oh, wait. Light Crusher only on... That's... That's a good farm. That's a really good farm. That's huge, actually. Pro doing skips the audience. I disagree. I feel like they've already cemented the audience. I feel like they didn't have to give 40 pulls out to keep us happy, right? I feel like people are just going to play this now. And a Freezing Frost Void Thunder 3 cost is also really huge. Now, that's all well and good. What I really want to talk about, right, is the new Tac Hologram. The new Tac Hologram is the Crownless, okay? We have another one to add to the pile to beat the ever-living shit out of, and I cannot wait. Um, as you can see from this, it doesn't really tell you too much. It's like, this is the location of it, increase the crit damage for every dodge counter on hit. This is how you obviously stack and beat the fit fucking shit out of it. Good evening, Max. What's up, Viper, my guy? Welcome in. Uh, Behemoth increases damage goals by dodge counter and reduces the enemy's vibration strength. So in other words, dodge. This is built around dodge spamming. He says if you've beaten a Diff 4 hologram, dude, I have beaten all holograms up to difficulty 5. <laughs> okay, let's, let, let's chill out. I'm actually not bad at the game. Uh, first player rewards, obviously all that kind of jazz. But yeah, this is the kind of situation we're dealing with this guy. I, I am so happy we're getting another one. Now, this is the just a gif of the dodging mechanic because you just get crit damage stacks on doing this. Proof when? Next stream. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to sign in now to show you that. Uh, and you can utilize dodge gain on buffs and boost your combat strength. Yeah, and then obviously lose the seals. During challenges of higher difficulty, the crownless adopts a higher level of mod. Okay, so this, this, this is level 4, it's different. I believe he runs around, right? So, what's the big change here? I think he's much more aggressive. But dude, more, more movesets make the game more fun. This is a huge W. Having another endgame bot- I don't know if you call holograms endgame, I think they are personally. He grabs a spear, yeah. So yeah, I don't think you call the holograms personally like endgame, but like for me at least, they're really good tests to see how far you can kind of push at least your game skill level, right? Not so much damage output level and like meta level, but how well you understand the game's mechanics to fight. So having another one of these is a massive W in my opinion, right? It's an absolutely massive W. Overall, 1.1? Let me tell you. 1.1 is looking pretty damn good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? Holy man. I cannot wait. Chungli, Jinshi, they're both gonna show up in my account. I beg I get their weapons. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that lucky, but fuck, I'm gonna try. Uh, but yeah, more importantly, that is the trailer. By YouTube time, okay? It's been fun, but we're gonna go. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And if you aren't going for Jungle and Jinji, I don't know why. Comment why, because I don't know. We don't know anything about the next patch, so I don't know who the fuck you're saving for. But hey, if you know something I don't, you gotta let me know, right? And you also gotta join the Discord in the description. That shit. That shit go crazy, okay? Well worth. But goodbye, YouTube. Thank you for your time. We'll see you in 1.1 over on the Twitch channel live. Like we are right now. Later.